It's been about a week, guys, and Project Violet is now back at SR Auto Group. It's not exactly painted. Uh, Andrew at Fast Track did some work on the car, but he didn't have time to actually finish the work. Uh, so he said, hey, Raymond, why don't you take it back and install the coilovers and the little things you can do while we're waiting for some space to clear up. So Martin was going to install the H&R coilovers a couple days ago, but when he took the front uh, suspension out, the strut, he noticed that the top hat bushings over here were really worn out. The bearings were completely toast. So we called Porsche, uh, uh, Porsche Center Vancouver and we ordered some new top hats. I just wanted to show you what they look like, guys. So we got uh, the new bolts for the, the shocks. They're OEM, uh, obviously, from Porsche Vancouver. We got two brand new top hats, again, brand new from Vancouver. I'll just show you what these look like so you guys know. Hold on. So basically, it's the hat that goes onto the top shock mount, bolts on with the new bolts. As you can see, this bushing uh, and spherical bearing, or is it a bearing or is it a bushing? It's, a, it's not a bearing. Hmm? It's not a bearing. No, that's not a bearing, that's a bushing. Anyway, so <clears throat> bushing, brand new, all this goes in the section over here. So we got that, we got the bolt in there, and we got, washers and nuts for the top so you don't usually have to change all this kind of stuff uh, ladies and gentlemen especially if you're trying to do this on a budget but because we're doing it and because we're trying to refresh this car and make it almost perfect uh, this kind of stuff especially for running gear is very important you don't want a car that uh, you've uh, restored you put new wheels tires suspension and brakes on and all of a sudden you're driving and it's jiggling down the road uh, this is a must uh, have for this specific car uh, I'm glad we did it. I'll show you when Martin's installed it. Our BBS E88s just arrived and I was just comparing them to the 965 Turbo we just did. Now, the 965 Turbo is a wide body, obviously, you all know that. Um, but it uses a 10 and a half inch rear wheel. This is a 10 inch rear wheel. But the really neat thing about it is that on the narrow body car, on the 964 that we're working on, the rear lip is actually bigger. This is a three inch lip. On the turbo car, it's a two and a half inch lip. Now, the reason for that is the 965 Turbo uh, has a longer control arm, so it actually pushes the face of the wheel out. I'm really excited about these guys because look at how big the lip looks on this car. It's just massive. It's gonna look awesome on the car. So we have that. We got our Pilot Sports uh, here. We got 225s in the front, 265s in the rear. Ed's gonna be mounting these in a second for um, the car. Also, we got our interior in, um, so it's done. So because the car was violet and it has a blue dash and, and what have you, all these blue pieces in here, we had to find a tartan fabric, which I showed you last time, that had all the same colors in it. Look how good this looks. So this is a uh, RS door card. So we have the blue, we have the purple that matches the car, we have some white. So that's going on the door panel. Um, this is the rear uh, quarter section, which actually uh, lines up with this and notice how the white lines up. Little details like that make it look really, really good. Martin, I threw in uh, the pads on the seat if you wanna show them what the seat's gonna look like. Uh, it's really, really cool. So I had them do the seat centers in the same tartan fabric. So this is gonna be this uh, color, the door panel, it'll have a blue piece coming across and the back quarter pieces will all be uh, the tartan. All this old stuff, I'm putting a prototypo steering wheel in it. Uh, the dash will stay blue because it matches all up now nicely. Uh, Andrew will get it to paint and we will um, update you further. One last thing, uh, Martin was working on the brake calipers. So we took the calipers out and uh, they tried to sand them down before, uh, uh, but the paint was already uh, peeling back. So what we decided to do was blast it. Uh, so Martin's gonna send this out to um, media blast it. He filled the hole so nothing goes inside. Uh, he taped up the caliper uh, piston so no uh, sand or uh, uh, walnut blast goes inside there. Once that's done, this will become the same violet that uh, the car is. Uh, we'll bolt these on, the car will go back to fast track, paint it, and then we'll do all the assembling. Now, last but not least, uh, I showed you last time uh, about the top hats. The new top hats arrived. Um, Martin and uh, Sean installed them. Two uh, top hats are in and the new H&R um, coilovers. 
are already installed, ready to go. Um, this thing looks brand new. Uh, it's actually starting to come together quite, quite nicely. So ladies and gentlemen, we are with Edmund. He is mounting the Porsche wheels. So the BBS that she, we showed you earlier. So there it is, E88. Watch the magician. Bottom beat in. And voila, just like that. It's mounted. So as we go along in this video, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, couple days have gone by. We got our Porsche calipers back, check them out. So this is the actual violet blue. Vilschen Blau, right? Vilschen. Fuzz. <laughs> Vilschen Blau. Here it is, it's violet blue. We got the Porsche sticker on it. So Martin has a lot to do with this, ladies and gentlemen. Still, he's gonna replace the inner um, pistons with this new stuff that we have. Uh, comes with the seals and the pistons. He's gonna replace all those. Um, we should have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, these are the metal plates that go in there. I showed you guys the other day. So all that's gonna get bolted on. We got the hard lines that I showed you that go back into the car. So he's gonna assemble this and we're gonna throw it back in. Uh, I showed you the wheels, but I didn't show you a really cool part about the wheels. So if you guys follow me for a quick second. So I showed you the BBS E88s, but check this out guys. I had to make a BBS sticker in Vilschen Blau. Is that right, Martin? Oh my goodness, I can't even say Vilken Blau. Anyway, so <clears throat> whatever blue. So guys, we're going back to the car. It's ready to go. Uh, it's going back to fast track today. Uh, we're gonna put the calipers on it, set it back to fast track. They're painting it, interior's going in. That's it, this car is gonna be, this is actually one of the most exciting 911s we've ever done. I don't know why, I think it's pretty much as well the color that makes it so special. Um, one other uh, idea that Martin had was, since we're doing everything in this color, well, this fan's pretty ratty, even though the car's been taken care of really well, so we're gonna pull this out, and we're gonna have this matched to the um, body color, so that'll be a complete set. This is gonna be really, really a cool car, ladies and gentlemen. Um, probably one of the coolest looking ones in Vancouver. Uh, it will be for sale, it's not gonna be a keeper. However, um, it'll be one of my favorite projects at SR. So as I said, guys, this is probably the last time I get to drive Project Violet, this 964 that we've had uh, almost four months now getting it all together. Uh, what a fun car. It came out really, really 
well so martin and i had this joke about the actual color of this car i'm going to say it one more time even though i've said it about 400 times in the videos it's balkan blau so it's violet blue it's an original porsche color this car was one of the rare ones that actually came with it when we received the car it was just repainted and it was repainted a weird pink on top of it we stripped it down we changed every rubber gasket light cover um anything that i could buy from porsche to restore this car as in the gaskets the brand new headlights the the smiley gasket the headlight washer gas anything that i could order new the fog lights are new the corner lights are new anything i could do to make this car back to what it originally was now unfortunately this car didn't have the original interior in it so i stuck with the rs style theme so as an RS, it has no back seats. Uh, we have these Recaro seats, which we got this tartan fabric from Scotland uh, to match the purple. So it has the purple, the blue, and the white in it. You may have seen it in the pictures online. So overall, we made this cool little, uh, I wanna say pocket racer or, or something along those lines. Uh, like, listen to it, it's solid, it's perfect. Now this, car was very well maintained when we when it got to us it does have 180,000 kilometers which is about 125,000 miles but honestly guys this thing runs like a champ uh bbs uh, e88 wheels uh, i think we got the last set in the country at the time we bought these i can't get another set for the life of me i've ordered two or three for our next project cars but we did like cool additions like the bbs uh, stickers in the violet uh to match the actual porsche calipers in the same color uh, to top it all off we went to the engine bay even though we didn't do much to the engine we gave it a little like a neat addition to it so what we did is we we painted the fan housing the same color as the car and then we did this in a um, uh, almost like a liquid silver it's called a euro silver it's a wheel color tech art used to use this color a lot on their formula wheels uh, so we put it together like that everything's nice and clean and everything is ready to go now unfortunately violet is sold it went to a person uh, one of my close friends in toronto he really wanted he has a dealership chances are you'll end up selling it one of these days but he wanted to drive it for a while it was summertime so i'm like you know what you take this car absolutely perfect i had a great time with it uh the guys at sr had a great time with it this isn't our last porsche project we have a 964 turbo coming uh well two of them which are on we're, which we're going to be doing on the hoist um we have uh we'll call it project 16.4 now but uh, it's actually my veyron which has uh arrived that's in the back we got a bunch of stuff coming for that um videos are coming guys i know i do them every three months but uh I'm pretty positive you're going to like what you see at SR. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you guys do nowadays. Uh, make it happen. If you like the video, leave me a comment at the bottom. If you didn't like the video or you have a question or an idea, leave me a comment at the bottom. Until then, guys, thanks for watching SR Auto Group's channel. Thanks for watching uh, uh, the build of Project Violet. We'll see you on the next one.